Good afternoon, YouTube. Um, today I <clears throat> wanted to get on and do a review of the Therian by Lost Fate. So I've been really testing this, putting it through its paces properly, not rushing to any conclusions. Um, uh, maybe in the past I've done reviews quicker, but this time I just really wanted to make the most of of find out exactly all of the little quirks that I could, all of the little features and foibles, etc. And um, and go through it for you. So this is the Therian from Lost Vape. It is a dual parallel DNA 75 device and um, it's made by Lost Vape, designed in the UK, made in China. And um, <clears throat> it's pretty fantastic. Um, so those of you who who have been watching my YouTube for a while know that I'm a great fan of devices like the K-Box 200, just purely not because of any sort of build quality or anything like that, but purely just because of the performance you get out of it. You get decent uh, power output, you get two batteries, you get two 18650s, and it means that then you get that extended battery life because I typically vape anywhere between sort of 50 and 70 watts. I very rarely go over that. Um, at the moment I've got this uh, limitless um, tank um, on here um, and it's a 0.25 ohm coil. I've got it 55 watts and that's really where I keep it. Um, that gives me about 3.6 volts and I think that's very satisfying vape. So without further ado, let's um, go down, have a little bit of a look up close, what's in the box, etc. And I'll tell you some of my thoughts about it. I have to apologise. Previously, I've noticed on some of my videos there's a lot of camera shake. So I'm going to endeavour to do much better on that moving forward. So apologies for anyone who noticed. Um, not many people have commented, but I've watched some of the videos back again and realised there is quite a lot of camera shake. So do bear with me and um, I will speak to you again in a second. So <clears throat> apologies for any shaking at all, but uh, this is how your Therian um, from Lost Vape will come. The, Evolve DNA 75. It comes in a lovely presentation box. Um, it has the colour of the leather on the side there. And that's really it um, in terms of packaging. It says Lost Vape on one side, but other than that, that's about it. It has this nice sort of hinged box, as you can see. And inside is your device itself. So this here is the cable so it's one of these um, stretchy cables which is quite nice which I like it comes with um, all of the lost vape products that I've had um, and then there is the mod itself underneath there's a little user manual which is actually quite a good little user manual And that is it for the box. Right, again, avoiding the camera shake too. So here it is in all of its glory. It is a relatively heavy device. Oh, it's shaking again. Heavy device. It's got leather on the outside battery case, battery sleeve. Um, and then it's got this ebony inlaid at the side. It's a zinc alloy. Um, so it's not too too heavy but when you've got your batteries in it does it is quite a weighty mod on the bottom it says and you won't necessarily be able to see that designed in the uk manufactured by lost vape and on the top you've got your 510 so stainless steel 510 and then it's nickel coated brass as the 510 connector it is a spring loaded 510 and i've had no problems with anything connecting to it which is which is very nice. Um, it is um, really very well suited to your larger devices now. So, so your 24 millimeter, 25, 25 millimeter um, tanks are what we want to be going for um, because I think they look the best. You have 
some nice clicky buttons. Um, you've got obviously your eScribe software that you can adjust everything in here with. You've got a little LED there, which you can change the color of. You can go up and down as per your normal DNA boards. You've got a um, firmware update and um, data port there for USB. Um, you can also, from what I understand, you can charge this via that because it has balanced charging on board, which is something which is um, absolutely something that we want. Um, I think it's very useful for a day-to-day -day mod because then you can plug it in at your computer. Um, then you have the um, back plate here, which is leather. Now, it hasn't become, um, it, th there's nothing wrong with the leather. Um, I think it's absolutely fine. Um, it does get a little bit dirty, but it does just need a, a quick um, rub with a damp cloth and then you tend to find that it comes up nicely. Um, the ebony on this particular example is not laid particularly well if you can see there's some gaps there um it's it's fine this side is much better this side the um inlay is not as good as it could be i don't think um then you take out this so this is a sort of a zinc um, battery door it's got a magnet there and it's got some latching so that you can locate into your um, into your mod and then you have room for two 18650s so you've got um, both it's well they're both the same direction so they're both positive up negative down because it is a parallel device got two LGs in here at the moment they pop out um, and it's got some good warning on the side saying do not reverse polarity and it tells you which way to put your batteries these are oh, these are spring loaded so that you can get them in and as most of the reviewers that I've seen have said the only real gripe with this I suppose is that that battery can be quite tricky to get in um, but once you've got the knack for it it's absolutely fine that's held on very well. There's no play in the door at all. Um, there's no rattle at all with the device. It's a very, it's an all round, it's a very nicely put together mod. If we want to do it a, a bit of a size comparison for another um, small dual parallel, uh, not dual parallel, but another small device, there you go next to the K box as an idea. Very, very similar in size. Very similar in size, in fact, almost identical. I think the Therion is slightly taller and slightly wider, ever so slightly wider, but very, very little in it. Um, this, however, is a considerably heavier device than the K-Box. Um, even without the batteries in, it, it feels more of a weighty device. You've got your presets through um, eScribe, which I'm not going to go into because I don't use them that much. Um, and you can do all your, your normal temperature control malarkey. You can also um, track everything through eScribe and you can modify things and change your screens, etc., which is, is pretty cool. But, um, but yeah, so that's really the device. Let's um, go up and have a bit of a chat about it. So that was um, up close with the Therion from Lost Vape. Um, it's uh, it's great. I really like it. It's a nice device. It's well put together. It gives me all the battery that I want out of it during the day. Um, and there's not really much to complain about. Excuse me. Um, so uh, yeah, good device. Reasonable price. So it's about a hundred pounds. Um, I got mine from um, Vape Geek. Um, and they were they were excellent delivered straight away um, really really good so yeah thank you very much um, not a huge amount more to say um, the, uh, the the DNA is, is fantastic as as always um, so look thank you very much indeed thanks for watching and I will see you again um, hopefully for another vlog soon thank you very much
bye.